All right, you guys, today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do a vocabulary lesson. All right, we're really not. So we're going to do a little bit of a terminology clarification because there's a few terms in this industry that kind of get used in a similar fashion, but I want to make sure that you guys understand exactly what each of these terms means. So the terms that we're going to talk about today are stress area, arch, and apex. Okay, now again, they get used kind of as, a, as the same term, but they really are different in their meaning. So let's start with the stress area, okay? So the stress area is generally gonna be right kind of in the center of the nail. So to really show you exactly where the stress area is, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna press down and put some pressure right on his fingertip. And if you guys see right in this area here where it just kind of turns white, that's really your stress area. So that's where we need to build our product up a little bit thicker, okay? That's where the term arch comes in. So I'm gonna draw a little picture here of kind of what the nail should look like. So this is our nail, this is our cuticle, this is our little free edge here. The arch is where your cuticle area, your product at your cuticle area is nice and thin and tapered. It comes up to a higher point and then it comes down to the free edge. So that structure in itself is the arch. Now, what do we mean by apex? The apex is gonna be the highest point to that nail, okay? So the thickest point of your product. So that, that apex is gonna be right over that stress area. So right where that little white area showed up, that's where your apex is gonna be. That stress area and that apex are both in the same position. Now, what happens when you have a shorter nail versus a longer nail? Is that apex and that arch and that structure gonna all be the same? No. I've already gone through, prepped the nails, and I've sculpted out an extension from that natural nail, but I'm gonna show you how to build up the proper arch for a shorter, more active length nail, and then also for a longer stiletto, okay? So for our active length, I'm just gonna do a quick overlay on this. I'm not gonna really try to build it up super, super thick or anything like that because I don't need that much support. I'm just gonna do one pearl at my cuticle area. And I know you guys, if you've watched Greg do his nail schools, you've seen him do this a million times. I'm just doing that quick overlay, starting with my product at my cuticle. I'm angling that finger straight down and I'm letting that product flow for me. I'm letting it do the work for me so I don't have to press and move it as much as sometimes you think you do. Once it stops flowing, I'm gonna lift up that finger and I'm just gonna start to blend out that end of the product. And that is our quick overlay. So if we look from the side, you can see that our cuticle area is nice and thin and tapered. And then it comes up a little bit thicker right to where our stress area should be. Where that white area would have shown up, right in that apex, it is a little bit thicker. Now, if we come down through the free edge of that nail, it still looks like it's a little bit thicker here. And it actually, to me, looks like our highest point is right about here. I'm just gonna put a little, little dent right in there. Okay, so what's gonna happen is when we do our filing, we're actually gonna take down our product from here forward because we want our thickest point back here. We don't need that extra thickness from here forward, okay? So when we're working on a stiletto, let's pretend this is a stiletto. So if this is our actual natural nail and our nail bed, and this is our stiletto free edge, Where's our pressure gonna be? That's gonna be on our free edge. So what we need to be doing is we actually need to make this end heavier so that we can balance out that weight and we can have a balanced nail, okay? So that's where building up a little bit thicker into that stress area is gonna come into play. It's gonna help keep that nail balanced and it's gonna help keep that stress area a little bit thicker and a little bit stronger. So when we're doing our stiletto application, I'm gonna start with a pearl at my cuticle area. And this is what's really going to start building up that stress area, building up that arch. Okay, so I'm just gonna give it a couple of seconds and I'm gonna place that down at my cuticle area. I'm gonna press out my cuticle. Now on this one, I don't wanna let that product run all the way down the nail. I want it to actually stop right in that stress area 
kind of where I want that apex to be. So I'm just kind of tapping around my edges. You see, I didn't angle it straight down. I'm just kind of keeping it slightly angled, but not all the way. I'm gonna lift up and I'm just gonna blend out just the edge of that product. I'm leaving the bulk right in that stress area. And if you don't get it perfectly blended, that's okay. Don't stress about it. Stress about your stress area. So at this point, but I just want you to see how our product is set. So again, it's nice and thin at our free edge, or sorry, it's nice and thin at our cuticle area, and it comes up to a nice high apex, a nice high point right in that stress area, okay? So now what we're gonna do is basically fill in from that apex, that highest point, down to our free edge. So I'm gonna pick up my product, I'm gonna drain out just a little bit of that liquid. I'm gonna drop that down right where my product ended, and I like to blend that back. The reason that I like to blend this back is because that's now blending it back into our apex instead of pulling it forward. Okay, so now again, we're keeping that highest point right where we started with it. I'm not trying to build up any more thickness through the rest of the extension here. I'm just trying to fill in that space. Okay, now I've got just a slight dip right through there, so I'm gonna put one more kind of a blender bead in. Again, I'm gonna drop this one down just like I did the last one, and I'm gonna blend that back because again, I'm building up to that arch, and this is how I like to create that high point. And again, we're gonna just blend out the rest of that product. We built up right to our apex, right to that highest point, right over where that stress area is, okay? And then it just flows right back down. So I'm gonna file these out for you so that you can see exactly how you file to make sure that you're keeping in that apex, that high point. To file out our nails, I've put in my safety bit course. So I'm gonna turn my speed up to about between 14 and 16,000 RPMs. Now, when I'm working and trying to um, file in my apex, I really wanna make sure that I'm actually looking from the side view. So this is the view that you wanna be able to see as you're filing in that apex, because if you're just filing looking at this, you have no idea what kind of structure you're creating. You have no idea how much of your apex you're taking down. Are you taking it down in the right spot? So that's why we always wanna be turning that finger, looking it at it from that side profile so that we can see. Now, that apex, that highest point should be right about here, kind of right behind where that natural smile line would fall, right in that area, right there. So what we wanna do is we actually wanna take down just a tiny little bit of product right through here and a little bit more right through here because we wanna thin this area out a little bit more because it's a little bit too thick right here. So because we don't need to take down a lot of product right through that apex area, I'm not even gonna file right there for now. All I'm gonna do is file by my cuticle area up to that apex. I'm gonna skip over that apex and then I'm gonna come back from the free edge back to that apex, okay? And you can see I'm really just filing down the center of the nail. I'm not going all the way from side to side. We'll get to those areas in a minute, okay? But right now I'm just visually cutting in right where I want that arch to be and where I want it to flow. So now you can really start to see that I've taken it a little thinner here, right up to my highest point, and then flowing back down to that free edge. So now I can come all the way through and blend all of that together. Once we've got our arch in place, then we're gonna turn and we're gonna look straight down the barrel. So at this point, you can start to see we've created that apex, we've created that arch to the nail, now we just wanna even out our sides with what we have here and bring everything so that it flows up together, okay? So to do this, we're gonna look straight down the barrel and we're gonna pull that bit towards us, okay? Again, really just working on that side and the other side, not through that arch that we've created in the middle. And I think that's about where we want it and I think I like that, okay? 
So you would do your final finishing with your hand file, but I just want you guys to really start to see how we've created a nice thin cuticle area up to our apex, our highest point, and then back down to our free edge. Okay, we're gonna do the exact same thing on our stiletto, but we're gonna leave that apex, that highest point, a little bit thicker than what we have on our shorter length nail here, okay? We're gonna work right through our, our cuticle area up to that apex, and then I'm gonna come back down from my free edge up to that apex. So again, I'm really not working in that highest point. I don't want to take that down. I just want to make sure that the rest of the nail flows right up to it. And I feel like we've got our arch right where we want. Okay, so again, I'm going to turn. I'm going to clean up my sides, get that nice and even with what we already had. And once we've got that done, again, up around our cuticle area, make sure our cuticle is nice and thin and tapered. We've got our cuticle area nicely thin and tapered. We've got our free edge nicely thin and tapered. And we've got that highest point, again, right over that stress area. Now, with our stiletto, our stress area, again, it's a little thicker right, right there at that apex, but it actually flows a little bit more back to our cuticle area. So it's gonna be a little bit thicker from here through here, just to give you that extra support and balance. Whereas on this one, we only have that thickness from here to about here, okay? So again, it's that difference between balancing out that long extension versus that short little overlay nail or an active length nail. Okay, so you guys, I've gone through, filed and finished the nails. So again, I really wanna show you and really emphasize the difference between our arch and our apex, between our short active length nail and our stiletto nail. So again, if you take a look, we'll start with our active length nail. We've still got that little bit of a thicker area right through that stress area, that apex, that high point is right through that stress area. Same thing on our stiletto, that high point, that apex is again right through our stress area, but on it, our stiletto, again, we had to build that a little bit thicker to give that nail more structure and more balance to support that extended free edge. So hopefully this little demo showed you guys the difference between the stress area, the apex, and the arch, and you'll use the proper terms and you'll have a better understanding of your nail structure and support. Subscribe channel now. Subscribe channel now. Subscribe to the channel now. Subscribe to the channel.